All right, let's do a toy review. We got the uh, Resistance A Hole Fighter here. Let's uh, let's just do it. Hello. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you, it's good to be with you again. Um, I am Ethan Van Skyver. This is Comic Artist Pro Secrets. I am a comic book artist, big Star Wars fan. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's why I do this to myself. So I continue to torment myself with these uh, terrible Star Wars news articles and uh, these abysmal toys. Um, I went to Target. I, I wanted to review uh, some of the some of the vehicles that they've got on the stands there. Uh, there was one, basically there were two to choose from. I wanted a TIE fighter, like a real TIE fighter, but the only TIE fighter they had was this really strange, I'll, I'll review it eventually, really strange Kylo Ren TIE fighter. Um, and it just, it reminded me of what he did to Lena Dunham. And I put it back, I can't get over that. I can't get over what he did to Lena Dunham. I can't get over that. You watch that. Watch that first episode of Girls. Just the first one. You don't have to watch more, but just watch the first one. If you want to see how low a human being can sink, if you want to see the debasement of the human spirit, just watch Just watch that first episode. Just, I can't buy that TIE fighter. I'll have to have a few drinks first. Um, there was also another vehicle that basically looked like this strange kind of cricket thing. It looked like a mistake kind of... Uh, made in the in the 19th century, stumbling towards the invention of the uh, bicycle. I, I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I didn't want it. Uh, this was closer to the mark. This actually kind of looks like a Star Wars vehicle. Um, uh, I looked everywhere. I was like, can I get one with a male pilot, please? Why are they all female? I don't want this to crash right out of the box. Uh, but no, they're all female pilots. And you can see them heroically fleeing the TIE fighters. Uh, on on the cover on this painting here, they're like, "Get out of our neighborhood, biatches! We're going, we're going!" Ah, uh, yeah. Where's the nearest Starbucks? Um. So beautiful, beautiful. That's a good thing. Uh, yeah, this is the they call this the uh, Resistance A Wing fighter. Uh, I I do wonder, and uh, this might be me being paranoid. Uh, why are they blue? What's with the blue stripes? I remember X wings kind of being red. And you guys are going to have to refresh my memory. Uh, were there vehicles that were accented in blue in the original trilogy? Or is it just that red is the color of the American GOP and uh, blue is coincidentally the color of the Democrat Party and this is de la Ristance? Uh Yeah. Um, Alright, so, yeah. Assembly required. Oh, no. No tools needed. We keep telling you that, Disney. Please fire Ryan Johnson. Look at this sexy kind of come hither. This is This is kind of stunning she's pulling on that glove or is she taking the glove off we don't know that's left up to our imaginations um if you have one of these force link things and you want to wear it uh this thing is going to squawk and make noises at you or it would if it worked it doesn't work this is the force link 1.0 this doesn't work this didn't work god they had to replace it with the Force Link 2.0. That didn't work either. Uh, it required um, some kind of like app upgrade. You had to download an app and uh, goof around and have this whole little fantasy game. I, I don't want to play your game. I don't want to play your game. Hasbro slash Lucasfilm. I don't. If you just just if it's gonna just put a button on it that I can press and it'll go pew pew. That's fine. That's all I need. All right. I have to I have to psych myself up. All right, let's open this up. Is there anything in here? No. All right, it looks like a gun came flying out of the box. Again, the weapons that come with these uh, Hasbro toys, and I'm not complaining, it's my own fault that I do prefer the 3.75, I think, size figures. Uh, these guns are microscopic. These guns, uh, they're choking hazards to crickets. I mean, they are very, very small. Uh, I keep telling you not to kind of breathe in 
do not inhale around these. These will go right up your nose uh, and get lodged in your sinuses, and that is bad news. All right, let's just keep this here. You guys keep an eye on this for me, would you please? I mean, don't stress yourself out over it, but it is there, so let me know if it gets lost. Uh, here is our De La Resistance pilot. Uh, yeah, looking good. Does the helmet come off? No, the helmet is actually molded on. Now, uh, some of these pilot figures, the helmets actually do come off. Uh, Poe Dameron's helmet comes off, and it looks good. Um, and Rose Tico's beautiful sister. Uh, she is right here. I don't know why they're different colors here. Uh, but her helmet easily comes off. And she's got this great kind of uh, Amelia Earhart uh, aviator helmet, leather helmet underneath. I really like this figure. I've talked about it before. This is great. Uh, this one does not do the same. This helmet does does not come off. And uh, what can I tell you? Flat chested. I don't. What do they? What do they like? Tape them down? What's going on? Look at that. This could be. I mean, I don't know. This could be a male character. She's just kind of short. I don't understand. I really don't understand why they're why they're like that. Like that is flat as a board. God. All right, here's your gun. Uh, thanks for watching this for me, by the way. I appreciate it. I'm going to put this in her hand. And, yeah. That's great. I think she would do better with, like, a can of mace or something. But a gun is fine. A gun is fine. It is her right. It's your right to protect yourself. Don't let anyone tell you uh, otherwise. Good girl. All right, so let's open this. Um... Yeah, it looks like some uh, assembly is required. Luckily, uh, I'm up for the challenge. It's part of the job. Uh, let's get some scissors. This is taped down with some heavy, yeah, heavy wire here. And kind of lightweight, but still sturdy. I mean, I have to say one thing. Uh, the Millennium Falcon, when I threw it into the trash, uh, it really kind of, uh, it was durable. Uh, it was durable in the trash. I pushed it down. It didn't break, even though it's lightweight. Oh, this has got a nice kickstand here. Even though it's lightweight, like uh, it's it is a quality uh, item. They they actually do put a little care into this. Uh, I'm hoping there are no stickers. I'll put that there. Uh, we've got two more pieces. I think. Oh, actually, more pieces over here. Yeah, there is a lot of assembly. The, 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 this requires a lot of assembly. I don't know why they couldn't just hire. I don't know where where are they where are the sweatshops at. Let's put those people to work. Why am I doing this? Uh, snip these right down here. And uh, more pieces, even more pieces over here. And I don't see a direction booklet. Oh wait, here it is. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have made such a flagrant accusation. There were directions. I just. I just wasn't aware of them. Can't be perfect all the time. All right. So uh, yeah, that's good. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of this. And now we are left with the contents, the desirable contents. Uh, if that is your opinion um, of the box. All right, let's see. Um, and we, we want to follow the uh, directions carefully because this vehicle is not at all familiar to us. Now, if this were a TIE fighter, we would know exactly how to put it together because TIE fighters are real Star Wars vehicles. We know what they look like. We don't know what this is. Uh, we, we, you know, nodded out during most of The Last Jedi. Uh, we, we don't care. We're like, we don't care. This is no familiar shape to us. Uh, and isn't that a shame? Uh, alright, so, what are we doing here? Uh, yeah. Step one. Put these in. Are these both the same? Is there a left and a right? This has got to be on this side. Mm-hmm. And these are going to snap right in. I think. Oh, wrong way. And that's in there. That's locked in there for good. There's a little locking mechanism. Uh, and then these. Uh, I don't know what these are. 
Oh, they go here? Is this the front? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like me at Christmas, Christmas Eve, putting together the kids' toys. Uh, what the hell? Alright, so we got them in. Uh, it looks like these fire missiles. Alright, so let's test that out. This is what the channel is. go. I don't know if you can do this. This is nearly impossible, even for a computer. The target is so small and squat and ugly. Huh, it's not impossible. I used to bullseye womp rats in my T16 back home. They're not much bigger than two meters. Oh, womp rats, you say? Okay, maybe you can do this. Go. Your target is dead ahead. Ready? Look at the carnage. Look at the carnage. Well done. Come on home, Paige Tika. So, uh, what do I think of this toy? Um, should you buy one? Well, I think, you know, look, it's a, it's a sturdy, it's a sturdy, uh, toy. And, uh, you'd really have to drop a cinder block on it to break it. So that is good. Um, projectiles, obviously, uh, useful. Um, not great, not great for kids. Um, yeah, so it's a beautifully made, nice, sturdy toy. It's fun. The missiles work really pretty good. Um, it, I guess it all depends on whether or not you uh, want a toy um, because you enjoyed Star Wars The Last Jedi. Times like these were made for Comic Artist Pro Secrets, and Comic Artist Pro Secrets is made by you, my Patreon backers, my Super Chat supporters, everyone who pledges to help fund this channel. You guys are the real heroes. Look at you all. Beautiful. Yeah, if you would like to join this community, the link is below in the description. You can join by pledging a dollar or more. Let's continue to make Comic Artist Pro Secrets the best non-porno website on the internet.